Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair. From the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspiration that is quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos every Saturday and Sunday. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. So if you are new here, welcome. And I want to introduce you to my oldest daughter, Kalia here. So she has type three curls and all of my girls are biracial, Filipino and black. So here we have Kalia. She has the curliest hair out of all of my girls. She has been wearing these twists after I did a wash probably about a week ago. So she's been wearing these and this kind of been her off week as far as styles where I don't do absolutely nothing to her hair. It is a low manipulation style and this definitely helps with her length retention which is why she experiences so much growth so I decided that I wanted to do a flexi rod style on her flexi rods are such a perfect protective style one because you usually don't have to use heat to get these beautiful curls and I'm going in using the texture ID thermal foam I love this foam I've been using it for years on myself and on Kalia it works wonderful for coily and curly hair now I'm uh, putting her hair into a ponytail going in with the eco styler gel um, I decided to use the eco styler gel rather than uh, my conditioning gel only because I wanted that hole to last a little bit longer than the conditioning gel the conditioning gel I have to go in and reapply it every day so here I am using these flexi rods. I have no clue what size they are. Um, but of course the size is always, you know, depending on what you're looking for. If you want a tighter curl, go for something smaller. If you want something big and juicy, go for the bigger ones. I feel like this one kind of fits right in the middle where it's not too small and it's not too big. So I saw this little hack on Instagram when it came to uh, installing the flexi rods where um, she pretty much wrapped one side of the curl on one uh, one side of the flexi rod and then got another strand of hair and wrapped it on the second side so we're pretty much doing two curls but only using one flexi rod now the first one that I installed was my usual way of doing it where I would pretty much use a one rod to create one curl and you know since she's gonna have to sleep on these I felt like the less she has in her head the better so I decided to give out this little cute hack a try and I will say that it it worked it really did work I didn't have any issues with it it did take a little getting used to because you know I'm trying to wrap one side and then I gotta go and wrap the other side but that was pretty much it and then I fold it over so that it's, it holds together and she will sleep on these overnight I did have her sit under the hooded dryer for maybe about 10 minutes her hair isn't soaking wet so it didn't require an extensive amount of dry time because all we're using is the foam that's the only moisture the hair is experiencing right now now I consider flexi rod styles to be a winter fall style just because the humidity in the air during the spring and summer turns those flexi rod curls into big afro puffs okay they do not last whatsoever and since the only real product that is being held together with the hair is the foam and foam just isn't the best product when it comes to uh, definition foam is for more so if you want volume rather than definition now of course you can achieve uh, definition with the foam but since it's such a lightweight product you're you're usually it's not gonna be nothing strong at least not a great hold to it so right here I am trying to manage all of this hair into a ponytail and as you can see I have to work in sections so I put that middle section into a ponytail first and then we're gonna do those sides and slick those all back too this also helps with getting the slickest and cleanest ponytail possible Kalia has some thick hair okay homegirl has thick hair I love it but it is also a curse okay it's a blessing and a curse because when it comes to putting that hair in a ponytail my fingers be like the arthritis be kicking in okay so now another hack I like to do whenever I have to put Kalia's hair into a ponytail of this magnitude I like to take the ponytail holder and wrap it around the base of the ponytail rather than pulling it through the regular traditional way one because trying to pull all that hair through a single ponytail holder 
absolutely not i just said homegirl got thickness going on the ponytail holder would get lost in the sauce so it's best for me to just wrap it around the base and then i tuck it up under the ponytail holder so it doesn't come loose and i usually don't have any problems with it so i'm just finishing up here and we're doing a mohawk look so she'll have the ponytail in the back the one in the middle and then that final one right in the front doing the same flexi rod hack with two curls for one rod I can't believe I'm just now figuring this out or just now seeing this. It is an amazing hack. I really did love it. Now, of course, always make sure the hair is nice and detangled. You do not want to wrap up any tangled knotted hair because it really takes away from the beautiful spiral curls you're going to see in the flexi rods now i used anywhere from two to three pumps of foam depending on the thickness of the hair um there were some pieces that i was a little foam happy i was using all kind I, I used a little too much which is why i had her sit under the dryer for about 15 minutes i'm slicking down her edges with some edge control because the edge control is going to give that great hold that i love to see and then i'm wrapping it down using these little paper wraps that you see all the time in a salon I just tie it up in the back and I think I used anywhere from two to three and I just let that sit while we had her sit under the dryer um, she goes to bed and then the next morning we are going to unravel the twist now since I did the two uh, curls on one rod it was a little bit different as far as removing the rods usually I take the rod and kind of just spiral it around until the hair comes off um, but since we have a curl on the other side of the rod I kind of had to start at the end of the curl and kind of unwrap it from the rod rather than unwrapping the rod from the hair so a little bit different but it wasn't a hassle like I thought it was going to mess up like my definition on it but no it really does look great and I just love flexi rods y'all will definitely be seeing Kalia with more flexi rods this season now, of course, you are going to fluff to your likeness, but since I wanted more definition than fullness, I pretty much left them alone. What she had after I took them with the rods out is what she gonna rock. I went in with a little bit of shine mist just to add a little bit of shine, and that was all. She wasn't lacking moisture. The hair was looking healthy and beautiful, and that is it, y'all. Thank you so much for joining us on a another video. Don't forget to check out our many other tutorials for Kalia's curly hair, as well as checking out other kids' hairstyles for your toddler and preschooler. Thank you guys for joining us on another video. We will see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.